You were born in Omaha, is that right? Yes, sir. And you left, your family left Omaha when you were, what, one year old? I imagine about a year old. And why did they leave Omaha? Well, to my understanding, uh, the Ku Klux Klan uh, burned down one of their homes in, uh, in, uh, in Omaha. This, had a lot of Ku Klux this Klux made Klan. your family feel very unhappy, I'm sure. Well, insecure, if not unhappy. So you must have a somewhat prejudiced point of view, a personally prejudiced point of view. In other words, you cannot look at this in a broad, academic sort of way, really. I, I, I think that's incorrect, because uh, despite the fact that that happened in Omaha, and then when we moved to Lansing, Michigan, our home was burned down again. In fact, my father was killed by the Ku Klux Klan. Uh, and despite all of that, no one was more thoroughly integrated with whites than I. No one has lived more so in the society of whites than I. And uh, it was only until I became a Muslim that uh, I ceased living in the society of whites. You say you are thoroughly integrated with the whites. Yeah. Malcolm, are, do you have white people in your family background? Definitely. Most Negroes in this country have whites in their family background. How, because how are you going to differentiate between the white blood that's in you and the Negro blood that's in you? And you don't mind my using the no, Negro because well, you use this yourself. I use it interchangeably. I know you do. Uh, Why do you do that? Well, I use it uh, if it fits the purpose to use it, but I, I use see. it against my will. Do you? But you, uh, use use it it, against you, you, you used it uh, voluntarily in describing the incident in Los Angeles. Still, I use it against my will. I guess the teachings weren't <laughs> thoroughly inculcated. No, right? but when I say to you that the uh, cops in Los Angeles shot down seven unarmed Negroes, mm -hmm. every Negro in the audience knows what I'm talking about. But when I say that he shot, that they shot uh, seven uh, Muslims, then a lot of the Negroes don't realize. I suppose that you're you said still seven colored Negroes. people because you say you use the term colored people. You said I don't think I used the word colored. colored on this program. Yes, you did. You did only not colored. Around. I think so. Well, black people, I'm sorry. You black. Say black. Well, we can use black, and that fits everybody. <laughs> okay. But, sir, the black... Now, let me get back to another point that you made. You said that uh, you go back home. Now, what do you mean by back home? I've only heard the Honorable Elijah Muhammad say, back among our own people. From you whence said we... back home. You yes. don't mind my saying Right, that. back home. But by that, he do you, means... Do you mean back into uh, the uh, roots of, is of uh, Islam, or do you mean back to Africa? Back home. And Africa. by back home, he means back into our original uh, civilization, and if you study history, the Islamic culture existed in West Africa, But your Central family Africa. didn't come from uh, an Isla Islamic background originally, did it? I mean, you came from, from the proud tribes of Africa, which is I think you'll find, sir, that one of the, background. that Islam, the Islamic culture... There's a, I agree, there is. A, existed a widely of, in Africa, Central well, Africa, West Africa. I agree, I've met many people in there. Mr. O'Connor. With regard to that uh, tragedy out there in Los Angeles, uh, I myself refer to it when it happened as the tragic police action, so I am not totally biased. Thank you, sir. Uh, coming from uh, Muhammad Speaks, which is the publication of your, uh, your cult or your religion, uh, Elijah Poole, Elijah Muhammad, uh, referred to the policemen out there, the white policemen, as devils. Uh, he said, there is no justice here for us black people. There is no future for us nor our children in civilized America. Uh, doesn't that uh, imply that you're going to get out or that's his wish that you get out? If he referred to those policemen out there as devils who, had, who were heavily armed and knew that the, men, the Negroes whom they were shooting down in cold blood were not heavily armed, I don't think that those policemen themselves would deny that they're devils, nor would any Negro who witnessed such a deed deny that they are devils. Well, about the other part of it, there's no justice here for us black people. There's no future for us nor our children in civilized America. And I didn't make that up. He, he said it in his own he, And he's correct in what he says, sir. Well, what does it mean? Does uh, it mean you're going to get out or It what? means the same thing that Attorney General Robert Kennedy means when he says that the number one domestic problem in America is the race problem, that it is almost impossible to solve it. It's almost impossible to give justice to Negroes.